Welcome back guys. So today I'm here with Linda Wig. Says your hair goes. Enjoy the moment. Hello gorgeous. <laughs> Enjoy the moment. So it's my first time trying out a wig from Linda Wig and I'm super excited. So this is a package. It has their website listed on the box as well as you can see. Um, so let's see what we got. Inside the box I got a like thank you card and it has their socials listed as well as you know their website again and that's it I also got this like home with a like edges portion and then you know like a rock tail portion so that's really handy so this is today's wig okay so what I have here is a relaxed yaki straight bob all right and it is this is 10 inches long actually it's a hundred and eighty percent in density and it's a natural color as you can see it's also a clean pre-plucked hairline and we have bleach knots and it's a 13 by 4 lace front wig so this is how it looks on the inside um, it comes with an extra elastic band on the inside as well as what four combs in total okay one in the back three in the front and it has adjustable straps as well so yeah standard cap cap construction um and this is how the hairline looks it looks pretty good so that's definitely not bad at all um yeah i love that I just slip the wig on as usual um, and from the jump I could just tell that the lace is really nice um, you could see that nice little graduation going on there and I was just super excited to get started with the whole um, installation process and as I told you in the initial portion of this video that this is a yaki straight texture so of course it's giving more of you know that natural girl kind of vibe like you got a fresh blowout so if you're off of that look I feel like this wig is perfect for you and then you know the hairline and everything looks so natural and makes it even better and then it's of a natural um, color that natural 1b color so you know it's not too bold you know if you still want to be in your comfort zone but look nice at the same time this wig will work out just fine for you um, and I'm just cutting away the extra lace on around the ear portion and then I kind of just measure it up make sure that it's sitting around that area comfortably and I actually use got to be to install this wig today um, you know that's the quicker route if you plan on um, wearing wig for a more prolonged period then feel free to go ahead and use glue and um, yeah i'm just using my blow dry on cool air as usual to you know secure the wig
So once I was done with um, applying the adhesive, I got my elastic band and I applied it around the hairline, just kind of press it in, pressing it in further. And then after I did that for like a, a little bit, I removed the elastic band and then I started to cut away the excess lace and I did this in small portions. You know, it's easier to do it this way than doing the entire thing all at once. You know, you have a better control, you know. And you see how seamless that looks? It's so gorgeous. It's so seamless. That is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, hairline. The lace is definitely giving natural and the the way they did that pre-pluck like work at the front there looks even better so I love that and I did not do any baby hairs today I just did my two little sideburns there and I reapplied a little bit of got to be just to make it a little bit more secure on the sides and ensure that it was sticking and you know yeah after I was done with that because I pretty much did the same thing on the next side when I was done with that I all I had to do was go in now and you know uh, get my hot comb and pretty much get this as flat as I possibly could at the roots so I kept it in its center part and I just got my wax stick no well no first as you saw I grabbed my wax stick but I decided to not I think I did start applying it but I stopped I decided that today I wanted to do got to be instead because I didn't want um, the waxy vibe at the roots and you could use a got to be if you don't want that waxy feeling you know it will keep the hair flowy and stuff after you flat iron it or curl it or whatever without weighing it down sometimes with the wax it can weigh down the hair a bit so yeah I I did um, the got to be you now it got to be when you apply the heat directly to it afterwards it can create some flakes but they're quite easy to remove but just be careful you don't want to plop the heat on it immediately immediately because sometimes it will like create too much of the flakes and it can get a little bit challenging to remove but i did it um what is it moderately so it didn't create too much white flakes if you understand what i mean so i did that to both sides and um i got it really nice and flat this is always you know so a technique to try you know to get your the top of your wigs as flat as possible because honestly i don't like to see when the top of the wigs look bulky it's just, it, it definitely looks like a wig. I mean, yeah, we know so we're wearing a wig, but locks, no, we're not to make it look like a 10 wig dip on your head. You know what I mean? So, you still want it to look nice and seamless and flat. Like, I know some wig is, some people are like, yo, if I wear a wig, who cares? Like, I'm wearing a wig, so the whole world can know that I'm wearing a wig, but not me. Mm -mm. This wig has to look presentable and flat and natural, okay? yeah so pretty much once i was done with laying the um top of the way and you can see the little flakes there but i removed them um eventually you can see that i was there looking at it but pretty much after i was done with this i got my flat iron and i pretty much just run through the entire wig with that and got it as straight as i possibly could and that was pretty much it for you know me styling this wig shout out to linda wig i feel like all in all the quality is pretty standard and nice i did not experience a lot of shedding it was very flowy especially for this texture it was very flowy the luster was nice and natural the wig is very full you know as you can see it's a blonde cut bob so yes that's expected but it was very flowy and you know sometimes with these textures like yeah if, if it's flowy then that's a really nice thing so um it was also easy to flat iron um it looked real gorgeous a very healthy look you know as i said it's giving like a fresh blowout kind of vibe you know so that looks really good so i'll be sure to drop all the details on this wig down below in my description box so please go ahead and check that out as well as the direct link if you're interested in purchasing this wig for yourself thank you so much for watching um don't forget to go ahead and check out my vlog channel at petite Sue tv don't forget to check out my previous video that i published over here i'll also drop that link down below in my description box go ahead and do that and i'll see you guys in my next video bye